what you need to be warm. A baked potato of a winter's night to wrap your hands around or burn your mouth. A blanket knitted by your mother's cunning fingers or your grandmother's. A smile, a touch, trust as you walk in from the snow or return to it. The tips of your ears pricked pink and frozen. The tink, tink, tink of iron radiators waking in an old house. To surface from dreams in a bed burrowed beneath blankets and comforters. The change of state from cold to warm is all that matters. And you think, just one more minute snuggled here before you face the chill. Just one. Places we slept as children. They warm us in the memory. We travel to an inside from the outside to the orange flames of the fireplace or the wood burning in the stove. Breath ice on the inside of windows to be scratched off with a fingernail, melted with a whole hand. Frost on the ground that stays in the shadows, waiting for us. Wear a scarf, wear a coat, wear a sweater, wear socks, wear thick gloves, an infant she sleeps between us. A tumble of dogs, a kindle of cats and kittens. Come inside, you're safe now. A kettle boiling at the stove. Your family or friends are there. They smile. Cocoa or chocolate, tea or coffee, soup or toddy, what you know you need. A heat exchange, they give it to you. You take the mug and start to thaw while outside, for some of us. The journey began as we walked away from our grandparents' houses, away from the places we knew as children, changes of state and state and state to stumble across a stony desert or to brave the deep waters while food and friends, home, a bed, even a blanket become just memories. Sometimes it only takes a stranger in a dark place to hold out a badly knitted scarf, to offer a kind word, to say we have the right to be here, to make us warm in the coldest season. You have the right to be here. You have the right to be here.